Mission accomplished. Let me get off this bike before my legs fall off. <laughs> yeah, on there, let that cabbage cook down and create its own water and all that good stuff. And it is done. 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 Yes. Okay. I'll give y'all a sneak peek of over here. I don't got the bottom shelves done yet. I got my sauna right, and I don't have the things I'm gonna put on my dresser that will have my perfume in them. I don't have that, but I'm getting it together, y'all. It's gonna be nice. My own little closet slash guest room. I guess closet. Guest room and closet. Get closet with a G. Anyway, let's get to this unboxing. This is part of the unboxing. I'll, it'll be different days. I'm just doing this as the stuff comes in or as I buy it. But I ain't stopped shopping yet, y'all. I need to get to traveling and stop shopping. Tell me stop shopping and get to traveling. <laughs> Mouth and third point three, one point three miles. Yeah, it's hard when your unfriendly friends in for the month. Ooh. But I'm fighting y'all to get this last one point three, almost one point two miles. Yeah, so I gotta do my five miles, y'all. Hard work, dedication. Oh, I gotta do my five miles on this here bike. I'm at three point eight, one point two left. When my unfriendly friend is in town for this month. Hard work, y'all. Hard work. Ooh, I did it, y'all. I did it, y'all. I made it. I did it, did it. I did it. Five over five miles. Yes. Mission accomplished. Let me get off this bike before my legs fall off. <laughs> some cabbage with peppers and potatoes and sausage yeah 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 sunday dinner simple sunday dinner y'all and i chopped up two packs of those little skinless smoked sausages and i took all them vegetables it was already cut i cut them down some more i got about a stick of butter in here about a stick stick and a half of butter i, I spooned it out of the container i didn't have a stick so it was about a stick stick and a half of butter i'm about to put the seasonings on here I need to rinse off the cabbage. I rinsed off those skinless smoked sausages too, and I rinsed off these pre-cut uh, veggies too. Um, but I'm gonna rinse off the cabbage, rinse off the potatoes, skin them and cut them up, get them in there, add a little water. After I put the seasonings and let this flavor cook up a little bit. Yeah. All right, fresh from the gym. Still got my waist trainer on. <laughs> White pepper. Put it to taste it. I put about a, I put about a teaspoon of that in there. I'm gonna put some old cayenne pepper about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon. Almost a tablespoon. Some black pepper, teaspoon. We got some garlic powder. I had another one up here. I gotta find that other one because I'm but garlic powder is low, y'all. The salt is left in there is about a teaspoon. I gotta find that other one. I got another one. Yep, I used all that. Okay. What else I want to add to it? A little paprika. Where is the paprika? It's up here. Yeah. A little paprika. Paprika, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm trying to find my other garlic powder. I got garlic pepper, but I don't need no more garlic powder. That's enough. 
said that is good. And I think I'm going to put chicken stock instead of water in this cabbage today. I guess what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add this chicken broth, 34% less sodium. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let that meat and that them peppers and onions and stuff cook a little longer. Get that flavor in real good before you put that before you put that cabbage in that pot and then potatoes. Mm-hmm. Take the top layer off your cabbage and throw it away. Or you can keep it. Sometimes I'll wash it and keep it. I washed it, but I want to throw it away today. I just want to throw it away. I got a big cabbage back there, so. Remove this. It's on the bottom in the center. And I'm just a slicing this up. It's been washed. Could just leave it like that and put it in there but I like my pieces a little smaller even though cabbage does shrink I'm gonna cut it in three across yeah just three and add it on to that pot hot sauce I always put hot sauce in my greens and my green beans and my cabbage yes I do I put hot sauce I think that's enough. I'm adding water to it too. I know it has chicken broth. It's going to need some water probably. But cabbage does produce its own liquid, so I might not need water. Put this lid on it and let it cook. Simmer, simmer. I have it on five, which is like the second highest setting on my stove. But eventually I'll turn it down when it cooks down. Get on there, let that cabbage cook down and create its own water and all that good stuff. I'm going to get his own water. Let's see, let's see. The water. So I'm pushing it down. Pushing it down. Because it's getting its own water. Making its own water. Push this cabbage down so it can get all get cooked in there. Some sausages and potatoes and stuff down there. And I move them all to the top. And it down. It's cutting down. Still on five till I get it cooked down. I press it down to help it to cook down sometimes. Most of the time you gotta mix it up a little bit to help it cook down. That hot sauce and I'm gonna put some minced garlic in here too. Yes I am I'm gonna put some minced garlic. I'm trying to break up the pieces that's not broken up too. It'll all break up when it cooks though. Put about two spoons full, two tablespoons of minced garlic in there. Put that minced garlic on there. And wait till it cooks down so we can get down there where the seasoning is. I might have to put some more seasoning too. I have to taste it to see if it gives me a little. I think it should be good though. Moving it on around. It's a little translucent like this. All the cabbage does once you get it all mixed up in there is so you can turn it down to about three and let it simmer. Simmer, simmer, simmer. And let it turn it down. Make sure to cover it and keep checking on it. Make sure the sauce, the, the juice is still in there. That water, that liquid, that broth, and yet yeah, all the good flavor is still in there so you don't burn your cabbage. So you check on it probably at least every 15, 20 minutes just to make sure you're okay. Or if you're sitting in the kitchen, check on as much as you want to. Shoot. I vent it a little bit. See, it's just opened a little bit. Probably about that much is good. I vent it about that much. Open it a little about that much. But you want it to steam, steam. 
added about four cups of water to this because the water started cooking down. So yeah, add about four cups. So all the flavor should be in real good. So it's good to add your water once you think you got that flavor in good. It's almost done. I'll put about a teaspoon of salt. That's about a teaspoon of salt. I didn't put no salt in this, so that's good enough. And about more, another teaspoon of pepper. And I might put a little bit more hot sauce, but it is good. I already ate some. It is good, good. Need about a tablespoon of sugar. You always got You got to add your sugar now. You got to add your sugar. Watching Monroe Steele's weekly video. It is Sunday. Today is Sunday, the 18th of February. Yeah. Like a tablespoon of sugar. It's like a tablespoon. Tablespoon. Added a little onion powder and some, a little bit of lemon pepper too. I just want—I don't know—I just wanted a little different flavor. Add a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of lemon pepper. No, tablespoon of onion powder, teaspoon of lemon pepper. It still has a little crunch to it. You don't want it too soggy. You want to have the crunch. Sometimes I eat my soggy, but it got a cr little, little bit of crunch to it, so it's good. I'm ready to go and pack some up for my son. Take it to him because he's not feeling well. And I'm gonna eat me some when I get back. Mm-hmm. And it is done. 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 Yes. about that hot toddy when you get sick this is what left i made my son a pot about that size of it he done drunk most of it and i told him you need to eat before you drink all of it but that hot toddy will get you right now when you're sick when you got that cough when you congest it hot toddy now i remember it because my brother's granddaddy used to make it and it was the best thing when we was kids make us feel better got bourbon in it but hey you cook it a little bit and you all right the next day whatever sickness you had was gone try and get them together over here he over here sick and coughing might have the vid but i got my mask on he took the test and said negative but i think them tests don't be working even, even the new ones they just sent out but yeah that's what he got that hot toddy y'all i think i'm a hot toddy connoisseur now <laughs> yeah i thought i made this one but i think it's gonna work for him we find out i'll find out tomorrow when he when i talk to him hello 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 thumbs up the video subscribe as you can see i got a new background i'm getting my closet slash guest room together so i have a new background it's not done i still gotta put more stuff on the shelves and you know organize decorate more but it's basically it's coming together so this will be my new background for my videos i told y'all i was getting it together and i have another side that has a chef decor like another chef over there that i'm gonna that'll be the background too so yeah i'm, I'm not just talking i'm doing it y'all i'm doing it i'll give y'all a sneak peek of over here I don't got the bottom shelves done yet. I got my sauna rock and I don't have the things I'm going to put on my dresser that will have my perfume in them. I don't have that, but I'm getting it together, y'all. It's going to be nice. My own little closet slash guest room. I guess closet. Guest room and closet. Get closet with a G. Anyway, let's get to this unboxing. This is part of the unboxing. I'll, it'll be different days. I'm just doing this as the stuff comes in or as I buy it. But I ain't stopped shopping yet, y'all. I need to get to traveling and stop shopping. Tell me stop shopping and get to traveling. 
I don't know if I'm gonna travel this year, y'all. I got been shopping. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I put these in the short. Y'all saw these uh, faux leather scrunchies I got from Dollar Tree. They were $1.25 each, but I thought they were so cool. This one's all faux leather. The rest of them are like faux leather and faux fur. But I said, these are so cool. You know, faux leather's the trend. Faux leather's in, and it's always really going to be in. Uh, but yeah, faux leather scrunchies for when you got braids like me or when my dreads, when I have my dreads out. Yeah, when they grow, when my dreads grow. I got every color they had at our Dollar Tree. Let me know if y'all go to y'all Dollar Tree. Let me know what colors y'all Dollar Tree has. Be nice if they had like red and other bright colors. Maybe they'll have that when spring hits. These are more winter colors. But yeah, I love these scrunchies. So that was the four colors our Dollar Tree had. And I got some headbands. Because I'm trying to rock these braids even though they need to go. I had them in a month, over a little over a month. But I want to rock them as long as I can. The headband has all that. <laughs> but I got this like Sherpa looking headband to match my Brandon Blackwood coat. I said, cool. They didn't have a black one to match my black coat. But I thought that was cool. A Sherpa headband. And then this one, kind of tweed looking headband. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Black and white. And then this brown. What is that? Velvet? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Velvet headband. Let's put the black and white one on. The black and white one on. Tell you one thing, baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My nephew bird went missing again, and I don't think they found him yet. I really hope my nephew bird gets found and is okay, old major. That's my nephew bird, y'all, my brother's bird. And my brother bird, I really, I look for him. Me and my other nephew went looking for him yesterday. We walked almost two Mouse, and for about an hour and a half looking for Major. Don't know where he's at. He got found last time he escaped. But y'all pray for my nephew Bird, man. Maybe by the time y'all see this video, he'll be found. I can put an update below or something. I hope he's found. He's been gone for almost a week. Uh, okay, so the first box. I've been wanting these for a while. They was on sale for $49.99 on the Converse website. So I've been wanting them for a while. And since they hit them for $49.99 with their regular $85 or $95, the leather Com platform Converse. I've been wanting these for a while. The black uh, Converse All Stars and the leather. And how I ran across these was I was searching for the all leather con black all black leather Converse because I always loved that when Will Smith had them all black leather Converse on an Ad Robot, which was my favorite movie way back when. I loved that movie. That was when I was in love with Will Smith. Not no more. <laughs> anyway, but I was like, I want I want these. I want to see if they got them all black leather Converse. And I looked up all, I looked up black leather Converse, and these popped up. I was like, oh, they got these in the leather and they on sale for $49.99. Ooh, they so soft on the inside. I wear size 10 in shoes, but they had them available. Y'all better go get y'all some. You can wear these with dresses and skirts and pants. I plan and shorts too. I plan to wear these with y'all gonna see me rocking these Converse. I've been wanting them for a while. Since the beginning of last year, probably. And I finally got them on sale for $49.99 on the Converse website. Yes, I did. Y'all check it out. See if it's still going on. The links will be in the description box to all the items that I show, as usual, in this video. All right, the next box. Uh, got my handy-dandy scissors. Mm -hmm. How y'all been doing? How y'all doing? Y'all having a good week? Everything going good? And if it ain't going good, I hope and pray it gets better for you. Things gotta go, might go bad sometimes, but they always get better in time. Sometimes it takes a long time, but just hang on in there. Yeah, I know this more. I know this more than anybody in life. But look at another box of another pair of Converse. What do y'all think it is? What do y'all think it is? What Converse do y'all think it is? Bam, the same ones, but the leather white, all whites and leather, white and black, basically, because you had the black on there. But yeah, the white ones in leather. Yeah, I'm going to be rocking these shoes out, y'all. I'm going to be rocking them out. I'm trying to told you for $49.99. That's a good deal for some leather shoes. Yes, it is. That's a good deal. Not faux leather, but leather. Mm-hmm. 
Matter of fact, let's read it. But I said leather on the website. But let's read the fabrics. Yep. Upper leather, linen textile. Yep. And rubber sole. The upper is leather, not faux leather, not poly P U or whatever. All right. And one more box today. One more box today, but there's other stuff coming, y'all. I mean, these sales are getting me, man. I'm sorry, y'all. These sales are so good everywhere. This is Express. This box right here is Express. Y'all see this box? Okay. Express. Oh, I got a... Woo, y'all can't get my scan. 20% off your first purchase the day you apply. Oh, for Express credit card. I already have one of them. I already got that 20% off. Yep, I don't even plan to use that card. I just got it for the twenty percent off. I, I got to pay my cards down. I don't want to use no more, no new cards. <laughs> I forgot what I got from Express, but oh, I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. Got another ten extra ten percent off. It's good through February fifth through May. See now, this one ain't expired. I got okay. I'm gonna use that one. That's good through February fifth to May twenty fourth. May 8th, Derby Weekend, Kentucky Derby Weekend. All right, so y'all want to see? Y'all want to see? Y'all want to see? Say it in the comments. And not like I'm going to see it, but I'll see it later. I'll be like, oh, you said it in the comments when I said it. I know what you're saying yes to. You said yes because you wanted to see them this box. What I got? Look, 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 look. Look, look. Look, aren't these cute? They were on sale, y'all. I'll put the price below that I paid because I can't remember, but I want to say it was like $25, something like it. 25 to 30 bucks, $25, I want to say. It might have been cheaper than that, but they are so cute. Look at these gold booties. Look at these gold booties. You don't know they're they going to go on one of these shelves. Gold booties. Ain't they cute? Oh, so cute. They got the nerve to come with a dust bag. They got the nerve to come with a dust bag. The nerve of Express to give me a dust bag with them nice gold boots. Well, thank you so much, Express. I'm going to rock these gold boots. Look at them with the cowgirl. Eee! Girl, we going places. Am I going to wear that to Usher in October? I don't know. Or I'm going to wear these to Usher and not cold. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. Look at them, y'all, with the grommets. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't pass them up when I saw them. Did more the gold ones. I had to get them. They both was about the same price, too. Great deal. A great deal. The regular price on these was $118. I got them for a good deal. The regular price on the gold ones was $78. I didn't pay that. I didn't pay that. Y'all saw what I paid for the gold ones, and y'all seeing what I paid for these white ones down below. Y'all are seeing down below. I didn't pay no $118, I tell you that. But look at these. Oh, my gosh. Ah, look at them. Y'all need them. You need them. Go get them. Go get them. I ain't going to be shit jealous. I said, I don't know. I said, sure, is what I was trying to say. I ain't going to be jealous. I want y'all to get them. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. So 80s. So girls just want to have fun. Oh, girls, they want to have. That's all we really want. Have fun. When your working day is done. Oh, girls, we want to have fun. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Don't you want to dance? Say you want to dance. Don't you want to dance? Dance. <laughs> anyway, it's so 80s. Oh my gosh. I was a kid in the 80s. I was a kid. I loved the 80s. The 80s were the coolest. My mom grew up in a, in a good era, just like we grew up in a good era. But the 80s were the coolest. She was a grown-up in the Whitney Houston days. And that was the fun times. The Sydney Lopper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
baby boots. These are my baby. Okay, let me stop. Both of these I got in size 10. But I love them. I'm so happy. Y'all see how happy I I don't be faking. That's real happiness, y'all. I can't wait to rock them. I need to stop shopping now. And these are PU, polyurethane. I think both of these are PU. None of them's, none of them's leather, but the regular price of them white boots was $110. Jeez Louise. And I got two leather tennis shoes for $49.99. And this stuff is polyurethane. And the, even the gold ones is man-made upper, synthetic uh, sock lining, okay. Uh, but they gonna be cute, they cute. They cute, y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me none. And I'll bring the rest of the stuff as it comes. But that's everything for today, but it'll be more in this video. All right, I just put this video with, up with just that, it's a small haul, because it's already 12 minutes, why not? And then as the other stuff comes, more hauls. So y'all thumbs up this video, subscribe, be blessed and be a blessing life first. Team life over here, we live in life, no matter how we have to live it. We coupled up or we single or whatever we are, we live in life. Live your life knowing whatever your status is because you, you, regardless of if you're single, married or whatever, dating, you still you. That You don't stop living life for nobody. Live your life. Don't stop living life thinking you can't do this and can't do that. Do it. All right. Deuces, deuces. Y'all like the New York Fashion Week videos everybody's putting out? I've been watching a whole bunch of people and new people and everything. They New York Fashion Week. I love New York Fashion Week. Then it's going to be Paris Fashion Week. I love all them Fashion Week videos. I'm hoping to go to New York Fashion Week in September. But we will see. That's my goal. I really hope. If not, maybe that light went off. That I guess my cue to go. Because my computer done died off. And I ain't charging it no more. Maybe February of next year, if not September. But my goal is September. But I'm going to have some styling videos for y'all. Some styling shorts. Some styling on my Instagram. See y'all. Instagram, Lala be so random. Lala, living life over 40. TikTok, Lala B, the letter B, so random. Just act silly on TikTok. But on Instagram, I do. I put, post my videos and pictures of fashion videos and stuff. And some working out stuff too because i'm into that gym y'all into that gym but be blessed bye see y'all in the next video deuces tell me i'm gonna buy any of these shoes let me know in the comments